Hello everybody and welcome back here to Canning Farm. So uh, this channel is all about showing you what happens on a day to day basis here on the farm. So today we're gathering up all the cattle for, we're doing a TB test or a bovine tuberculosis test. So I'll gather up all the cattle and we'll chat a bit more about the cattle and about what TB actually is when we get back in the shed. Come on, come on, come on. So what is TB and why are we testing for it? So TB is uh, it's caused by a bacterium in the cattle and it affects their lungs. Um, it's spread by uh, badgers mainly in Ireland. Um, they pee or dung on the ground and then when the cattle graze on that then they get, they get infected. Uh, it goes into their lymph nodes around their lungs. Um, it can be passed on to humans so that's one of the reasons why it's on an erad eradication program here in Ireland uh, trying to get rid of it. The way they test for it is they inject into the side the side of the neck of the animal. Uh, basically they take a protein out of the, the bacteria that causes TB and if it has TB it'll react and then the second injection has avian uh, tuberculo tuberculocum in it and basically what it does then is it's, it's like a control. So then they measure the difference They'll measure the skin today and they'll measure the skin when they come back and read in a couple of days time and if they have TB it'll form a lump uh, if the lump is for a certain range bigger than the original skin then that animal has gone down with TB that means then that that animal has to be slaughtered um, and that your herd is locked up and you have to have two clear tests after that before you can buy sell or buy or sell cattle really. Uh, you can take cattle in on a, if you want, but you can't sell any cattle. So these are the different groups of cattle we have on the farm at the minute. So these three lads here are three Frisian bulls. So the plan with these is that they'll be sectomized now at Christmas time and they'll be used as teaser bulls. This group of heifers here, there's 40 of them in this group. So these arrived in June. So these are for AI and for next year. So these are doing well now, they're doing over a kilo a day, they're doing 1.1 kilos at the minute. This group in here and in that pen there, they are actually arrived there on Tuesday and they are brothers and sisters of this group. But they're just held back there, the owner had a bit of grass there that he wanted to graze. Heifers here are this year's bull and heifers. So there's 10 of them in here, um, 8 are confirmed in calf, uh, this one here isn't and 353, three, I have to get her scanned today to see whether she's in calf as well. And then we have this group here. So these are the smallest of the calves. These are well behind target, so they're very young. They're about three or four months old, so they'll be held back now and they'll be given meal. And uh, hopefully they'll catch up with the others. later and we got good news on the test uh, we passed so no TB so what I'm going to do now is the cattle are all coming in for housing so we're going to dose them clip them and uh, give them a shot of minerals and get them ready for the winter so what I'm going to do them with is clasometin poron so this will do fluke worms lice ticks things like that and I'm also going to give them just a, a shot of uh, minerals there so they get about 20 minutes of this so that's bovi gold there got them homeland so, so I'm just going to go through the process that I do with each animal be quiet. So we have the scanner here, so we just take the tag number. 
that links in with my scales so it'll give you her reading of her weight which is 167.5 so now I can dose accordingly to that so I'll clip her now and then we'll give her the cosmectin and we'll angle you can see there's a nice strip down her back uh, nice and short and um, the reason why you clip their backs is one when they're in the shed they tend to be hot so it let, lets out some of the heat so they do a lot better uh, second of all uh, parasites lice and stuff love living in the top hairs and the top coats uh, three is for porons that uh, they get better skin contact when you when you do clip their backs and thirdly if you can see by their tails like and then by the edges it just keeps them a lot cleaner and they're a lot happier um, especially around the tail heads here, they can get a bit raw and stuff from uh, lice and that where they're itching. But That's them all in, clipped, dosed, everything in for the winter now. So it's October the 22nd or 3rd. So I was hoping to keep them out a bit longer, but I might keep out some of the smaller stock there. Maybe maybe break up a group, maybe a 10 and let them off and just eat the last bit of a few of the paddocks. So, but that's it now. Majority of them in for the winter.